Last week, I gave meatless protein a try for the first time. I figured that it was high time I stopped just being a hater without having anything to say about it by way of personal experience. And I realize that I'm a scientist and personal preferences are not super scientific, but I will tell you this. This is about my experience with meatless meat and why there's no such thing as meatless meat. My first experience with meatless meat is actually from the series Firefly by Joss Whedon, where if you watch enough of the episodes, you realize that that's basically what they're eating is just packaged protein that they will then make into whatever shape that they want. It's sort of like the if the Philadelphia cheesecake commercials were true, except that instead of out of cheesecake, you made everything out of plant soy. Because um, when I grew up, you know, we had soy burgers and they were not meat and they were for those who didn't want to eat meat, which is fine. That's your thing. That's your thing. Here were my two observations from having meatless meat for the very first time. Number one, it doesn't taste like meat. It doesn't feel like meat. It does not a substitute for meat. It might be protein, but it's probably about the same consistency as those meals eaten by the by the crew of the Firefly Serenity in Joss Whedon's series, where yeah, you, know, you can dress it up and make it look all nice as nice as you want. Um, also, the portion size was small. This was a premium entree. I had to pay more for this than for the regular thing, which I have never really understood. Um, why is m real meat cheaper? And real meat is not cheap. I mean, I remember when you can get five for five at Arby's, and now I think it's two for six. <laughs> so things have changed, now, not necessarily for the better. So it was more money, lower portion size, didn't taste like meat. Second thing, they had loaded up with so much spices to make it so that I couldn't tell what it tasted like that basically that's all I tasted for hours was all the spices. Now, if you have to load something up with spices to get people to eat it, it's usually so disgusting that nobody wants to eat it for itself. I mean, we make joke. I make jokes about France all the time. French food is more or less a way to use up things that have expired and gone bad without having to throw them away. And so they lather them in and bathe them in all sorts of sauces to make them more palatable. And if you have to put that much sauce on a thing to get people to eat it, it's not good. It's not. Um, I mean, I understand salting things to preserve them. And I'll give you this. Salted pork tastes better than any other pork. But um, that's probably because we love salt. <laughs> not because we love salted pork. I was unimpressed. I had to pay more for less. I didn't enjoy it. Um, I gave it a try. And now, for my own personal benefit. I'm not going to do that anymore because I have an experience with it and I know that it's not going to work for me. Now for you, you got to make your own decisions. Is it financially good? Is it uh, palatable? Because uh, at the end of the day, you're the one that has to stomach all of the consequences of the decisions that you make. None of you are hurt by my experiment with meatless meat. None of you will be hurt if I decide not to eat meatless meat ever again, unless there's no other options. And I'll tell you this, I've been down to the wire before, and I ate still crackers and almond butter before I would eat the soy. <laughs> True story. So it's not the fault of the people who make it. It's not the fault of the people who sold it to me. I'm not going to criticize the establishment. This has nothing to do with them. I am sure they did the very best they could to deliver it in the very best form that was possible. It just doesn't appeal to me. And remember, this is I'm a chemist. Most of my nasal cavity has been burnt out. So my ability to taste things is very limited, but I would rather eat shards of broken glass than eat meatless meat. It just, there's so many other things I would rather eat, like anything almost. I would rather eat algae, reconstituted agar plates, than meatless meat. And that's saying quite a bit. So what about you? What about your experiences with meatless meat or plant-based meat or plant-based protein? Because, you know, technically meat is plant-based. What do they think cows eat? Anyway, food for thought, pun intended.